Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Hamilton, a facial plastic surgeon here in Indianapolis. As a facial plastic surgeon, rhinoplasty is a procedure that I perform on a regular basis. When patients are thinking about rhinoplasty, they often don't know where to begin. Today I thought we'd talk about some of the points to consider when considering rhinoplasty. Now rhinoplasty can be either cosmetic or reconstructive. Cosmetic rhinoplasty involves shaping the nose to make it fit the face. This can involve taking out a dorsal hump, making the nose smaller, larger, making the tip smaller or just refining it, or changing the shape of the nostrils. What it's done really depends on the patient's anatomy, their goals, as well as the surgeon's. Reconstructive rhinoplasty involves correction of deformities due to either heredity or trauma. Some of the same techniques that we use for cosmetic rhinoplasty can be used for reconstructive rhinoplasty. We also do reconstructive rhinoplasty to help breathing. This can involve straightening the septum, which is that wall that actually runs down the middle of the inside of your nose, or it can be done to build up the support on the outside of the nose. Think of it like an internal breathe right strip. Now, rhinoplasty that's reconstructive, if it's for breathing issues, or for congenital deformities often can be covered by insurance. Prospective patients should wait until they are fully grown to have rhinoplasty. This is typically 17 for girls, 18 for boys. Rhinoplasty is done on an outpatient basis, typically in a surgery center under general anesthesia. Patients will have a tape and splint on the nose that first week, as well as sometimes sutures not only in the inside but also on the outside that require removal in one week. After a week, patients will have their tape and splint off and shortly after that can apply makeup if they desire. Most patients can go out to most activities two weeks after rhinoplasty. Other restrictions after rhinoplasty include no strenuous activities for two weeks, no heavy lifting for three weeks. Patients should also involve, avoid any contact sports or activities that might injure their nose for six weeks. While much of what has been corrected with rhinoplasty can be visualized after two weeks, it really takes a full year to see the final result from nose surgery. The first step to deciding if rhinoplasty is right for you is to come in for consultation. In my next video, we'll talk about important points to consider when coming in for consultation. This has been Dr. Mark Hamilton talking about rhinoplasty.